so Kevin Kelly uh, has another question. Um, I think, so he, he asks, describe the most optimistic neobiological future that you can imagine in a century from now. Um, you know, we can imagine that uh, public health um, is going to require all of our genomes to be sequenced. Um, that um, that's not going to be hundred years. <laughs> oh yeah, no, the, we'll be there. We'll be there long before that. But I think the um, you, you know as, making that as an assumption that um, that that so much of our genetic information is going to become part of the healthcare system and that uh, it will also include um, some of the advantages that can be that can be put out there. Are there, um, what, what do you imagine are, as some of the greatest benefits um, that you, that you want, um, you know, as, yeah. as your own self or as a, as a mother of other children, um, you know, what are, what are, uh, what are some of your thoughts on the future of this? So, um, I imagine a future where, um, uh, first of all, genetically inherited diseases have been eliminated. Um, if we have a disease, we quickly know how to treat it because we sequenced you at birth. We understand what your um, risk factors are. Um, and, you know, we have rapid vaccine and um, we have, first of all, rapid testing. We have rapid um, therapeutic development and we have... Um, uh, prediction models. So, uh, so we can basically address disease. Um, I imagine that we have, um, converted from industrial manufacturing, from extracted economies to, um, biomanufacturing and to growing things with living systems. So we, as a result of that, have been able to clean up our planet. Um, we are living in a continuum, uh, with all the other uh, biological systems on the planet. And so um, we are no longer um, extracting and polluting, but um, harnessing and shepherding and, um, and growing things uh, in a way that um, puts us in a more sustainable position. Um, I mean, to me, that is, that's the vision.